Welcome to the making of the Nintendo Room version 3.0. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here. I'm pretty excited. We got possession of the house yesterday. This is going to be the new Nintendo Room. We might actually expand the space to make it even larger, so I'll go through that in this video as an introduction. Today we're starting to move furniture back into this place as well, but it's going to be a long process because we are going through a pretty ridiculous re renovation upstairs on the main floor, but they might have to do some stuff in the basement as well. So this is in the basement. The old Nintendo room had square feet of a roughly, I think, 290. This currently has almost 400 square feet, and we might gain more space in the rest of the basement to make it even larger, to go up to a total of roughly maybe 600 square feet. So we're looking at at least doubling the old Nintendo room. Definitely I was out of space, and when you move into a bigger house, I wanted to use the opportunity. You only live once, I don't have kids yet, so I might as well really enjoy the basement space and make one gigantic room. Now, good things about the room is that it already has pot lights in the ceiling. I'm going to maybe add more lighting. I'm not really sure about that quite yet. There are three ridiculously huge closets here. So one of them's under the stairs. That one makes absolute sense. I'm thinking that the Nintendo fridge goes in here along with some storage behind the fridge. The fridge will be on some sort of a wheelie system, obviously, so you could pull out the fridge and then put stuff behind it if I need to. This closet is four feet by six feet. It's four feet deep. That's unnecessarily huge. You can see how large the closet is and the shelving. So that's kind of unnecessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow out that wall actually entirely. And then we have another closet on the side here. I don't think with any light in it or anything, but that's also three feet by four feet, really large closets. So hopefully those will be blown out and this space will be even bigger. What I'm looking to do with the room is pretty much keep the design as it was in the previous Nintendo room as much as possible, but I'm gonna flip the space, add more seating, which I'll get to, and basically just have even more space for games and storage and displaying things and trying to keep the display as optimal as possible. I know a lot of people were concerned in a move, are you still going to have room for the Mario wall or the Zelda wall? I really hope to maintain those details and add even more details to this Nintendo room. So just to kind of give you an idea of the whole space in a second, I do want to mention before I get to it, really important item, we have a bathroom in the Nintendo room. The nicest of wallpaper. It's a little outdated, but that's fine. We're going to do some work in here and turn this into a Mario themed bathroom. The idea in here, which will be a video in itself, is putting Mario decals all over the walls from Super Mario Brothers 1 and making it into a cool bathroom that's Mario themed, which I think would be pretty neat. So we do have a bathroom in here. If you're wondering what's through this door over here, that is the cellar. And through those doors are the is the expanded space. Hopefully we go into the furnace room a little bit and gain more space as part of that renovation once they're done doing everything upstairs anyways. All right, so what's the idea for down here? We're probably gonna have the system shelves on this wall for now, maybe the magazines or the Nintendo Power magazines or Amiibo, we'll see. Probably game systems on that wall. Same with that little wall there beside the bathroom. And then this wall will be the console wall otherwise. So I think that entire wall will probably be systems. The couch this time, the L couch that I have is going to be wrapped around this corner here. And then behind the couch, I'm going to have like a bar seating, basically. I'm thinking of putting two two foot by four foot tables to total eight feet and put four to six chairs behind them, pub height or bar height, so that you can see over everyone. And then all the TVs will be on this wall, basically. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the walls yet of where Mario Wall and Zelda Wall will go. I think Mario Wall will probably stay on the TV wall over there. The desk is going to be right around here with a chair behind it. For now, I'm going to turn this closet into all of the games. They're going to be like in the closet on Billy bookcases from Ikea. I'm not sure what's going in that closet yet. I haven't thought about that quite yet. And then over here is probably the D12 display cabinets with some World Nintendo plushes and my other figurines and things like that as well. Everything's being hammered out. I'm working on the design and I'm going to actually show you a video in another part of this series for building the new Nintendo room version 3.0. I'm going to show you the actual layout and floor plan that I'm designing for this space. I do think I'm going to probably have to add a few more outlets because looking here you see one there, there's one over there, that is not it though, that's for cable which we don't use anymore, and there's one there. So I think there's only three of them in this space. There's none along any of these walls over here, so I'm going to try and add some likely. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but hopefully I can add them because I don't think three is enough for the entire Nintendo room and how many things I have to have running from it. I did have an electrician come in, they looked at the 
box, I guess. And they said, we do have more amps to give into this house, so we can add more stuff, which is going to be exciting. So we're going to get to that in the future. So new Nintendo Room, version 3.0. I know it's been a while since I've been making videos. I hope to bring them more routinely. This is what I've been doing for the last little while, is getting ready to move. We also, unfortunately, had a death in the family. I've been unbelievably busy with work, and I've been taking a course, and I've been, I was coaching, but that just wrapped up as well. So I've just been really busy. Um, I felt overwhelmed. And I just didn't have time to be creative with making the video with everything going on in my personal life. So now I'm hopefully going to be back at it though. I'm hopefully going to be making videos for the month of August and you can look forward to that in the future as well. If you have any questions about the new Nintendo Room, sound off in the comments below. Next video, maybe I'll talk about the plan or I'll show moving stuff out of the old room or maybe show setting up this room a little bit as we get going. But this is going to be like a two month to three month thing. It's going to take a while to get it fully set up and everything in place. Thanks so much for watching my first video in Nintendo Room version 3.0. Thanks so much for watching again. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all of the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, keep smiling while gaming.